Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're doing well. Here we are in the first part of December 2022, and I am grateful that the Lord has been faithful to walk us through this last year with His wisdom, with His power that we're discovering through the Word of God. Today, we are going to work through the beginning part of Proverbs 31, 10 and 12, 10 through 12 rather, to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. Hey, right here at the end of the year, I want to ask you to consider going over to notaneedyperson.org and checking out the needs that are listed there. You can make a difference in a real life situation of need for someone who has a situation that's come up that's outside their control. For as little as $5, $10, $15, you can make a one-time gift that can help us to meet needs. Please go over to notaneedyperson.org and check that out. All right, today we step into a section that probably is one of the most written about sections in the book of Proverbs that I know of. And it's this whole section of the virtuous woman in the latter part, Proverbs chapter 31. Now, what we're going to read here is a character sketch, so to speak, of a number of qualities and criteria that could be seen as being part of being an excellent wife. And this many times is held up as the gold standard of what wives should be attaining to. But what I want you to do, whether you're a wife or a, or not a wife, is to look at this as character traits. Look at these as things that are worthy of emulation and worthy of pursuit. And even deeper, why they're worthy of pursuit. Let's dive into Proverbs 31, 10 through 12. It says, an excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. Now, I think there is an attitude expressed here that we need to pay very close attention to, especially all of you husbands out there, all of you men out there. You need to recognize that there is no second-class citizen status for women. Regardless of what your upbringing may have said, the church tradition you grew up in said, the culture that you live in might say. I mean, we have listeners in different parts of the world, and I know men and women have different roles and different places of of rights and and, uh, status in society. And friends, the Bible teaches men and women are equally valuable. We both are made in the image of God. And right here in Proverbs chapter 31, we recognize that a woman who becomes a wife is a blessing to her husband, to her family. She is a source of great riches. In fact, she is more precious than jewels. Verse number 10 tells us here. So if you think about becoming a wife at some point in your life, or perhaps you are a wife, you need to recognize you are in a place of tremendous value and tremendous importance. Men think that way about your wives as well. Notice what it says, the heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. Men, do you see your wives as a blessing or do you see her as a liability or a curse or a bother or any other number of negative uh, characteristics we could put in that blank? If that is how you see your wife, you need to adjust your attitude. Now, I am not naive enough to think that every woman who is a wife is automatically in this excellent category in terms of how she operates within the marriage and the things she does in the home. There is always room for growth and women drop the ball in their responsibilities just as much as men do. But men, I'm talking to you right now. I want you to think about the attitude you have toward your wife. Is there a way you can begin to look at her as this precious woman, more precious than jewels? And if she doesn't live up to the standards that you feel perhaps Proverbs 13 holds up for her, are there ways you can encourage her in that? You can equip her. You can be a support to her in that to help her grow. Like I'm confident if she has the spirit of God in her, she wants to grow. You see, we've got to look at each other in a different lens. We've got to see the blessing that God has brought to our lives in the spouses that he's given us and do our part to encourage his work in their lives. And women, ask yourself this. Are you that trustworthy wife? Are you the one who brings gain to the relationship? Are you the one who does good and not harm to your husband and to your marriage relationship? If not, there's room for the Holy Spirit of God to empower you and to help you grow in that as well. 
Lord Jesus, we are grateful for your presence in our lives, whether we're men or women, husbands or wives, or single. We know that you can grow godly character in us and that that's your desire. So we turn to you today, asking you to bring it about in us. Make the women out there excellent women, excellent wives, more precious than jewels, who are trustworthy and who do good in the relationships they're a part of and enable the men to view their wives as the great asset that you intend them to be. Make us your people through the way we think about these relationships and to be a blessing to the world through them. We ask it in the name of our Savior Jesus. Jesus.